Well, uh, uh, Kodak Black said that uh, Tupac and Biggie are legends because they died, but he's a better artist. Next subject, sir. <laughs> I mean, he, they're not. He's he, what is he? First of all, I'm. I don't know Kodak Black, Black's music. I think I've heard some of it, but you know me. I'm from the school, Illmatic, Wu Tang Forever. You know, paid in full. I mean, I'm, that's my era. I just Biggie Small. You know, the first Biggie album. The same, I'm. I'm all that. Eminem. All that's me. And me coming from me and looking at that, that's that I if he feels that way, listen, there's nothing wrong, wrong with feeling like you're great. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know the Kodak Black dude. Okay? He's a millennial kid. He's a millennial, whatever. But as far as my thing is, fine. Say that you're the greatest, but we'll see your body of work in the long run. And we're gonna see if people are wearing your t-shirts, like everybody's wearing Biggie and Tupac. And young people wear Biggie and Tupac. This is what greatness is. People are still wearing Air Jordans. You feel me? That's what the fuck greatness is. So, Kodak Black, if they're wearing your shit in 10 years, 15 years, wearing your sneakers, wearing your t-shirts, and listening to your music for nostalgia's sake, you can call yourself the greatest. You can call yourself the greatest now because you know what I'm saying? I believe in manifestation and acting as if you already got great. But let's see your body of work. You compare, after you're done, compare Biggie and Tupac, and you're still alive. So you better really surpass them in, in their body of work, okay? Because their shit is solid as fuck. And we still listen to that shit, is all I'm saying. They got classic shit. I have no problem. And it's not a hate thing against them, but there's nothing wrong with you thinking great. Just prove that shit. Just prove it. That's all I ask is prove that bitch. Well, I mean, personally, I think Kodak Black is dope. He's actually a pretty dope artist. Which Very uh, intro, introspective in, in the music that he puts and out. Which is beautiful. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. you know, has his own kind of style. Which uh, is, really came up. And I'm came all up about by himself that. with no, no cosigns right. or, or nothing. And uh, built his own following. And Nothing wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong. Like, for example, can you name me a better comedian that's better than you right now? See what I mean? No, you no. feel like you're the best. I well, I'm I, I I'm one of the best. I because you know there why? You go. Because listen, art artistry is subjective, man. Let's be real. Artistry is subjective. Some motherfuckers don't don't think I'm funny. They don't want to hear my voice. Listen, let me tell you. When I first started in comedy in the in the urban circuit, you know, I would I was a Cotton Club, the Cotton Club, you know, and that's Bernie Max Club, you know, it was urban as fuck. And I would go on stage, you know, everybody be up like, like this. Yo, what's up? What's up, motherfuckers? What's up? I would purposely go up and go, hey, guys, how you doing? <laughs> this, this stuff is subjective, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, if, if some people don't think, I mean, I think I'm one of the best co comedians, period. Period. In the comedy, mm -hmm. in comedy, period. I'm, I may not be the most popular guy, but as far as pound for pound and mic game, uh, I can go with the best because I was I've been around the best. I followed the best. And listen, I can have a show where I'm not the funniest that night, but I'm talking about overall my 22 yeah. years. Fuck what you heard. I can count on maybe I can count on one hand how many times I bombed literally, and I can actually count on maybe this. And I, I'm talking about I'm pretty consistent. And like I said, I'm not everybody's taste. You know what I mean? Like I love I'm a I'm a Cat Williams fan. Like Cat is dope to me. I love Cat Williams. I, I'm a I'm a Mike Epps fan. Ah, Mike Epps had me has me wrong. Some people don't think these guys are funny, and who gives a fuck? But they are some of the best comedians ever. They are one of the best. You can say I'm one of the best because I can't be the best because I'm not funny to everybody. Kevin Hart is one of the best guys. Uh 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 uh. You got Bernie Mac is one of the best. Uh, 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 even though Steve Harvey says some crazy ass shit, are we talking about that today? Oh, the the monkey comments, motherfucker! I got to talk about that. But Steve Harvey, to some people, are one of the best. We can all say we're one of the best because of our our time that we put in it and our proof that I've made motherfuckers laugh. I've destroyed places. I've gotten standing ovations. 
boom, constantly. You've seen me perform. Yeah. You've seen me perform. And I may not be the best to other people, but I don't give a fuck about being the best to other people. I want to be the best. I'm the best to a lot of motherfuckers. And to me, I know I'm the best as far as the art form is concerned. You know what I mean? Clyde Drexler is one of the greatest basketball players ever. One of the. But we know Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan. There's Kobe Bryant. But they all played the game dope as fuck. 